All right, hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. Um, in my first video, I showed you guys how to blur out subjects on the PowerDirector application. Um, but the problem with that video is it doesn't show you how to blur out subjects that move. So, in this video, I'm going to try to rectify that by blurring out the face of a dog. So, before we begin, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And um, by the time you're done watching this video, if you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. So, with that said, let's begin. Okay, so this is the video we're going to try to use. We're going to blur out the dog's face. So let me just play it for a bit so you guys can see how the dog's face moves. So what you want to do is, like the previous video, you create a duplicate layer using the same video. And then you're going to blur out the first video and invert the duplicate layer I'm just going to do it so you guys can see so I'm going to get the same video this is it right here and I'm going to import it and now it's a new layer as you can see so now that the video is here just tap it and then increase the size so it matches and all and make sure all the matching ants disappear or are hidden behind the frame right about here okay so that seems good enough you can't blur out this one, so you have to blur out the main video. Um, if you want a better app that can help you blur videos, for well now I think KineMaster is the best. So, But if you guys want to work with PowerDirector, well, by all means go ahead. So, now I'm going to tap the effects and then search for Gaussian Blur. This is it right here, I'll tap it. Then increase the degree of blur. You won't be able to see it now because this video is overlaying the main video. Now we have applied the blur to the main video. Next I'm going to mask this video. So I'll tap it now and then tap this pencil icon again and tap mask. I'm going to tap rectangle. Now you can see the rectangle right here. Just um, adjust it to cover the dog's face. With PowerDirector you have to make the shape big so that it can blur out places that um, anyways you get to see. We're going to have to start cutting the video. So when you are sure of the area you want to blur out, just tap the invert button down here. Next, we're going to tap the back button. So you can see now the dog's face is blurred out. Now we're going to start moving the video, playing the video slightly. Now the dog's ear is a bit visible, so we're going to go back a bit until when the ear is not that visible. And then we're going to cut the video right about here. The layer video, not the main one. So I'll tap the pencil icon and split the video now. And keep moving again. Tap the main, the layered video again. And then tap the edit button, tap mask. Then adjust the blur a little bit to the left. Now let's watch it from the beginning. Alright, so we can pause. And then keep going again. And here the dog looks down, so we're going to drag back a little bit until it's about to go down. Then I'll cut the video here. I'll split it. <laughs> I'm used to saying cut, but you guys get the point. And then I'm going to adjust the video again, the mask. I'm sure you guys are understanding it. Can increase the size of the mask, but um, you don't want it to be too big so it doesn't blur out things that are not supposed to be blurred out. Alright, so let's see it again. It may not be perfect, but uh, you guys get the point. So once it gets back up again, just cut that part and bring the mask up. Yeah, and that's it. So let's watch it from the beginning and see. I think we're done, hopefully. Yeah, there's a slight area where the dog's head was a bit on blood, but um, you guys get the point. So that's how you blow videos using the PowerDirector application. Like I said, if you find this 
a bit difficult then just try using KineMaster. I'll make a tutorial video on how to blur using the application. Well, if you find the video helpful, I know it was a bit stressful, please give it a thumbs up and um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you have any questions, just ask and if I can, I'll make a video answering your question. So, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Stay safe and stay awesome. Alright, bye-bye.